You know, if you have a dream, don't let anybody take it away. And you always believe that the impossible is always possible. How you doing, Houston, Texas? Okay, ladies, so this is the final, final look, <laughs> finally. Um, and I just want to say I am, I've always wanted to do a Selena inspired look because she, since I was a little girl, I think I was around five or six, um, four or five or six, around that age that, um, my dad and I were obsessed with Selena. Okay, like <laughs> we were like hardcore fans. I was a little nervous um, starting the tutorial. Even in my voice, you can tell I was a little like nervous just because she is so beautiful and I just didn't wanna taint her in any way. And of course, I won't look like her and cause none of us um, look like each other. So she's a one of a kind, just as you are, just as I am. But I'm just so inspired by her that I thought uh, what a good, awesome thing it would be to do finally an inspired look by her. And um, I really actually enjoyed myself doing it. And it's just, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to celebrate her life today, which is her birthday today. And I hope y'all love it. I hope y'all continue to listen to her music. I hope she continues to make people happy around the world as she is still doing till this day, y'all, as she is still doing till this day. So I hope y'all also enjoyed this look. This is the final look. As you can see, we got the hair, we got the little dangling earrings, the shirt, um, the gold jewelry she had, the chongo, <laughs> the hairdo, and um, yeah, I mean, we got the bronzer going, um, the wing liner. So I really hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. And I hope y'all try it. If you do, let me know. Post me, post me, tag me in your pictures. Um, my IG is blissfully Michelle. So make sure you tag me there if you want me to um, see your pictures. That would be so awesome. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell notification. Ding, ding, ding. So that whenever I do come out with more videos, y'all can go ahead and be the first ones to watch them and thank you for everyone who is already supporting me and just coming along my weight loss journey and i that is one thing that also actually pushed me to do this and inspired me to do this um first of all her words which is as she always says um the imp the the impossible is never impossible like don't ever think the impossible is never impossible it's always possible and i thought you know what i want to do this um and i'm gonna do it regardless of the size that i am right now i don't have to be perfect in order to want to create something out of the love that i have for this artist like i can just I can just do it it's okay and so honestly her words it's it, like that is a quote i always um have in my mind of hers and i mean that goes for anything and everything weight loss journeys um careers school your school um just for everything so i'm just so happy i got to do this and i hope y'all enjoy it as much as i enjoyed it and i hope i did it too 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 bad too bad so anyways y'all and let's celebrate selena today and every day so i have to go ahead and put out a disclaimer unfortunately um the first clips of uh, just saying hi to y'all without any makeup and doing the first couple of brows were i don't know where they went they totally disappeared so I'm starting this video with both of my brows done. I am so terribly sorry. I tried to look for them and I don't know where they went, y'all. But I really, really hope y'all stick around to watch the whole video because it's it's a pretty, pretty good one. So this is what they're looking like. Um, if you want, you can um, use the this tip just to run the color a little bit over. But honestly, with Selena's um, dark brows, you really don't have to um, use this part. Can y'all tell that I am nervous? Because I'm actually really nervous. I I like have like butterflies in my stomach. I just don't want to do 
anything wrong with Selena as far as her beauty is just so like it surpasses honestly um, so I just don't want to mess up or anything but excuse me I'm trying to get rid of these nervous like these jitters like what is going on with me um but so i'm gonna go ahead and use this color by the company yabby in the color vanilla and we are going to i'm gonna just put it on all over my lid and also i'm using it just as a base um i wanted to get this video out early and i just had such a busy day today that i couldn't I know I look crazy y'all I look like a clown but anyways um, now we're going to go ahead and start uh, playing with the eyes I'm actually using BH Cosmetics 120 color palette oh, I'm sorry I forgot to mention I use just a flat brush to go ahead and add the, the concealer type eyeshadow to my lid and I'm gonna go with a, a pretty um, kind of brownish color gonna go with this color here that color there I'm gonna just use this brush here uh, by coastal sense this is an OG as well it's um, BRC and 2 whatever that means so we're just gonna go ahead and start um, setting this color as you can see it creates a crease Forgive my ugly faces, y'all. I make the craziest faces when I'm doing my makeup. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to control myself. <laughs> so, see, I, that, looks, that looks so much better. And we are gonna bring it all the way up, this color. I wanna bring it all the way up just to get rid of that a very very light nudie color that we have going on now i'm going to go ahead and in our crease here with a um, shader brush little blending brush like so it is a little bit slightly angled um, in order to get into the crease there i am going to go with a light brown color kind of a taupe color um something like this and place that in in the crease honestly you can't tell that she's wearing anything in her crease at all. But just to kind of give us a little bit of definition, I'm gonna go ahead and add that in our crease as so. And because I have hooded eyes, um, I honestly just need a little bit in order for me to get that um, effect. So if you have hooded eyes such as me, don't heavy hand this okay do not heavy hand it um as you can tell you can already tell the definition just go very lightly very smoothly without uh pressing too much into your brush so with the same brush i'm gonna go ahead and blend just so everything can look smooth and not have any sharp um sharpness to the look just very smoothly and so cute too i always feel like this eye always looks so much better than this one does that happen to y'all let me know in the comments if your right eye always like shows up and shows out and your left eye is just like i'm working i am not working today the store is closed <laughs> for real y'all like what is going on even well y'all know the story about our brows like our brows they're cousins definitely not sisters like third cousins or something see i mean just look at how beautiful that looks and look at this like you can't tell that i have any type of definition on this eye or is it just me like can y'all for real let me know in the comments if it's just me like am i just imagining that this I always comes out way way more defined and way more beautiful than this one I feel like this eye like just never cooperates now for the fun part I love a good wing and I mean whenever back in the day when I used to wear makeup it was always a wing liner and uh, the eyeliner in my waterline but Selena um, she does have 
thin wings, which I love about her. Like, yes, girl, yes, girl. Like we would have been so sisters if we would have just have met. Like I needed you in my life. Like we should have met, okay? But anyways, y'all, um, she does do a very, very thin liner. And today I'm gonna use Wet n Wild's Breakup Proof uh, Liquid li Eyeliner. And I suck at liquid eyeliner so hopefully this will come out really 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 nice the first try and i don't mess up this whole look but um i just know that with your regular just either pencil liner or like this one with this which is just a twist up you will not get that really beautiful nice winged liner effect so that is why i'm taking the risk and i'm going to go ahead and use the liquid eyeliner which i don't use at all for myself like i do not mess with liquid eyeliner so y'all please send out a little prayer before i start this okay please i usually like to start um from the back and then towards the front and i don't know about y'all but i actually also like to pull my eye okay well this is the first time i try this i bought it today specifically for this and very, I mean, it goes on so easily and nicely. Now I'm gonna just gradually build it up. Yay, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and also use Wet n Wild's Max Volume Mascara. Girl, I'm gonna coat this mascara on until I don't know, I don't even know what because I need this look to be perfect. So um, this is also waterproof. Um, so it's gonna be fun taking this makeup off y'all. I don't know why I like to brush my lashes down first. Um, just to, I feel like that makes them longer when I do brush them back up. Um, so I brush them down first. I've done this since like high school, honestly. So um, because she's actually has mascara on her bottom lashes and also a tad bit of eyeshadow um, on her underneath her waterline. Um, I'm going to go ahead and conceal because I'm going to go in with my LA Girl um, Pro Concealer. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I don't, they're not too dark. But I do have dark circles. And with my beauty sponge here, I'm going to go ahead and my beauty blender sponge. I'm just going to go ahead and smooth it out. Okay, and so now we're gonna go ahead and conceal. I'm going to go ahead and use the, also the Wet n Wilds concealer. And let's see, this is the number 834 Fair Beige is the color. So in this uh, specific photo shoot that she had, or I don't know if it was like a personal, just a personal photo shoot, but it was a photo shoot indeed, okay? Because this is an iconic, um, iconic picture and just so beautiful. Um, she has a little bit of um, eyeshadow just on the outer parts of her, um, of her eyes here, so underneath the waterline. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm just gonna do just a charcoal black color, this color here. Charcoal black color, you don't want anything too dark because you can tell that she has it, but you, it's not, it's not strong. It's a light, just stroke of, um, of eyeshadow underneath her waterline. And I'm gonna start from here to here, like so. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit just to make it a little bit more skinnier and with the flat brush. Now with just a little blending brush or a shader brush, 
I'm gonna do something very light. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. Excuse my faces, I'm trying to control them, but they not cooperating with me. And now to finish up with what we call the eyes, we are going to go ahead and add some mascara on the bottom lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and color correct uh, once more with the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal. Again, the same concealer we used for our eyes wet and wilds and i'm going to just go ahead and do the same process we did with our under eyes so we are all blended out and now we're going to go ahead and head into foundation i'm just gonna go ahead and um smooth it down just go ahead and place it on my forehead so the hubby actually did really good picking up this color for me um it matches my forehead perfectly i hope it matches the rest of me as perfectly like so nose the loose powder air spun so yeah just brush in the excess kind of like a kabuki the kabuki i went ahead and wet my hair and with a comb okay or a pin i'm going to go ahead and part my hair okay on both ends so my hair is naturally curly so i didn't um i don't have to curl i don't have to use like the curling iron so if you want it curly of course you need to go ahead and use your curling iron and so that's what that looks like um i know it's not a perfect line Add um, a scrunchie. Like so. Yeah, you just want to fix it. Um, of course, for those that don't have like curly hair, use your curly iron. I don't know how to do all that, y'all. Hairspray also to the top part. So, like so. So you add some to your curls so that they don't move. This is Aussie hairspray, really awesome hairspray. Okay, so for lipstick, I also got um, a Wet n Wild lipstick by Wet n Wild in the color um, Crimson Crime. And this better, I mean, it looks super red, so I'm hoping it's really red. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply the lipstick. felt like there was something missing so what i did was i went ahead and added a little bit of eyeliner to my waterline only um halfway through um the one i used was by covergirl ink it is just the the one you go ahead and um pick up like this okay um the color is black ink in the number 230 and so another thing is that she actually has bronzer on it so i'm gonna go ahead and bronze real quick y'all and it's brand is NYC and it's a uh, bronzing powder in the color bronze gold I 
used to jam out like just sing my voice out um and my parents know uh, the one that the song that's um como la flor como la flor tanto amor tanto amor me diste tu hold on so the part where she's like um ay como me duele so i didn't know the obviously like i didn't know like the correct lyrics and i used to always say um ay como me duele like, so messed up right but i was such a little baby i was a little girl i was like probably like seven around that time around seven six years old and they used to get a kick out of it like they still do they still talk about it to this day um but yes selena will always be like my ultimate favorite um artist and man she would have done so many things um, i mean she still is apart from what happened to her she still is so that's just amazing but uh, i'm just so excited and happy to have been able to get this um tutorial out for you on so anyways y'all y'all have a wonderful happy blessed beautiful day and let's celebrate selena today and every day y'all have a good day bye